Hello there and welcome back to another edition of the Hot Lamp Classic, this time take a look at the 1985 Toyota Truno GT Apex Type 2, a car which has given me many, many issues in the past. So for those of you that don't know, and it is kind of a rare fact, I even had to get the GT Wiki people to put it on the website. Um, the 83 and the 85 Trunos in the PAL version of this game are mixed up. They are two separate cars and it is very weird to tell which one is which. So this one in the uh, GT mode of this game would have been called an 83. The 83 that we've had around will be called an 85. It's very strange and it sort of switches around depending on what screen you're in. It's very confusing. Anyways, this car was requested by Funder. And, well, we've had the 83 Truno go around before, this is the 85, this big blue one is running Natural Aspiration, the 83s are running Turbos, and that includes the 11, and the 85s are running Naturally Aspirated, because basically they are exactly the same. Front engine, rear wheel drive, 198 horsepower, 825 kilos of weight, a very, very light car. Uh, an okay-ish amount of torque. They don't do amazingly well around this track, at least if the uh, previous one is anything to go by, but you never know, this car might do okay. To find out if it does do okay, it is going to get six laps off the Umo Sports Land, tracking an effort to set the best time it possibly can. Our current leader is a Suzuki Scudero Pipe Speak Edition at a time of 27.010, this car unlikely to beat that. Uh, I'm trying to find the previous car and I can't right now, but I believe it's in a 31, uh, 33, somewhere around there. Uh, it was not quick. I do remember that much about the little Truno. I will say I really love the, as much as I, I've been very, very vocal on my disliking towards this particular car because certain people, uh, ooh, oh, okay. Uh, I will spin out a 190 horsepower car. Excellent. Good start. Anyways, I will say I really like the race mod on this car, sort of the fake wide body. Uh, it comes in two colours. Uh, I believe there's red one and there's also a, a yellow one. I went with the red because the red, at least in my mind, is the slightly better looking. Usually I'd go for the brighter colour of the two, but uh, with the sort of TRD symbols on the car, it just made more sense to go for a red one, so that is what I did. Uh, hopefully this car does better than a certain other Toyota that we've had go around the course before. That's of course being the Prius, which for uh, almost 200 episodes has been the slowest car we've ever had. Uh, and I still don't know if it's ever going to be able to uh, have anything be slower than it. I say that, uh, Honda Beats have decided, the Honda Beats decided, hey, we're really going to try and give that run for its money, and we've still got plenty of Beats to go, we've got the Mugen Beat uh, to come up, and that is, uh, that that could potentially be slower than uh, the Prius, which is amusing in and of itself. Again, uh, may I remind you, the Prius in this game is unmodifiable in any way making it by far and away the least powerful car that will ever go around the Hot Classic because it just has no upgrade, so it has to stay at its standard 60-ish horsepower, I think it is. Uh, yeah. I don't think there's any car that's going to get slower than that. I mean, if this was Gran Turismo 4, obviously, there's the, uh, the motor wagons, and they're uh, incredibly slow as well, so... Anyways, we are having... Um, not a great time with the Truno. It is very slidey. It, yeah, it handles crap. It doesn't have that much speed to save itself. And, yeah, on top of all that, it's obviously rear drive, front engine, not good for this course. So, it may be a pretty decisive, um, meh for the Truino, but you never know, there is one more lap to go, maybe it will pull out a Suzuki Escudo killing thing, of course, the power of boring cartoons and whatnot may prevail this car to victory. Right. Let us go around here. Yeah, it's just not fast or exciting or anything of the sorts, and also it does that occasionally where it just goes sideways for no reason and then loses all of its forward momentum. And that is why it is going to get a 33.2 uh, 
3-0. An incredibly uninteresting time, although that does actually put it in an interesting place. So I will give the true note that, I guess. A 33.230. Uh, we'll see this car go into 205th place. It is quicker than a Toyota Supra and a Toyota Chaser. Let's just irritate all of the uh, JDM fanboys today. Uh, it is uh, a couple of milliseconds down on the uh, Truno GT Apex Type 1, that one obviously having the turbo. So, yeah, not a terrible result for the Truno. Anyways, I want to thank you all very much for watching this edition of the Hot Lamp Classic. Next time, we are featuring a Mitsubishi legend that was recently reborn to be a Mitsubishi nightmare. That is a legend turned nightmare. Find out what it is tomorrow. Until then, farewell.